Hi everyone, 안녕하세요. This is Ava at Glow with Ava and welcome to my channel. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we are gonna do a facial exercise workout. So consider this as like your typical um, workout, but instead we're gonna be working our facial muscles so we can be lifted and beautiful. I've been doing these a lot on TikTok at Glow with Ava. If you aren't following me already, make sure you follow because I do a lot of fun, quick videos like this. But I have been getting requests for more long form videos on YouTube so people can actually follow along. Um, so instead of packing everything into like a 15, 30 second video, I wanted to do something that was a little longer so you guys can follow along and it'll be a lot of fun. Today I'm gonna show you guys um, some techniques that I learned from Korean estheticians and I've tried on myself that really help to overall you know improve the blood circulation of your skin kind of lift your overall face and also great for reducing wrinkles you can either do this in morning or night it just really depends on what kind of um, products you use as your base product so i do have a blog post where i list down some of the best serums and oils um, and moisturizers for you to do facial exercises with so one of them is this kind of Decorte Beauty Serum, which I absolutely adore. If you want more of a hydrating layer, then you can use another facial moisturizer. I've been loving the Honey Halo from Pharmacy. It's packed with ceramides, so it's really, really soothing and great to kind of move your face around it. And if you're doing this at night, you can either use this, but you can also use a sleeping mask. And the sleeping mask that works great for this exercise is this Laneige sleeping mask. So today I'm gonna to be um, going in with the Pharmacy honey halo this is also from the same honey line um, that pharmacy is known for it looks like a buttery formula but once you apply it it's extremely lightweight so with this kind of exercise you don't want to use something that is too heavy because it's not going to let you kind of move and massage it around if you want something that is hydrating yet easy to apply so you don't have to like fully have this absorb into your skin just yet because we are actually going to be doing a facial massage exercise to actually um, help your moisturizers and serums to pack in and sink in deeper into your skin while also helping to improve your skin texture okay so now that we have this on your skin the first exercise we're going to be doing is using both hands like this so i'm going to start with on this side and pack it upwards like this and we're gonna pack this in upwards directions like this and keep doing this for about 20 to 30 times all right by doing this this allows your moisture to just not only sink in deeper it's also telling your face that hey we're gonna be working out our face so get ready so do the same thing for the other side as well okay. So yeah, after you do both sides, then you go to the forehead and move it in outwards motion. And this exercise is actually really good for your wrinkles. I do have a lot of like wrinkles forming around my forehead. So you know this helps to release the tension up there and it feels so relaxing. So do this 30 times as well. And then the last note of your forehead, move that down and then move it upwards and down to your neck area like this. We're gonna do this one more time. Start it from your forehead, move that down in circles and then bring it back to your neck area and down right here. You can think of this as like your lymphatic massage because there are two garbage cans in your lymph nodes and one of them is right here and one of them is right here. So you want to end your exercise where you kind of empty all of the bad toxins into the lymph garbage so as you massage that out you bring all the toxins down and then bring them down and throw them out to your lymph nodes so throw them out throw them out so just do this about 10 times as well into the garbage can and immediately you're gonna feel so much better. So consider that the warm up of your workout and now we're gonna officially begin. So you need your hands near your knuckle area right here and then we're gonna start with our neck area, okay? So this is another great lymphatic massage to move in upwards direction, kind of in circular motions. Move that upwards towards your jawline and then up towards your cheek area like this and then keep moving that around your cheek area first. And when you do this, it may hurt for little people, but that's because, you know, your lymph nodes are a little clogged up right here. So you're just trying to like loosen up the area and it's okay if your face gets red like me. I do have pretty sensitive skin, but it's gonna go away after this. 
So keep doing this until you feel like, you know, your muscle tension is a little bit relieved. For me, it just seems a little tense right now. So I'm just going to take a little bit more time to do this. So typically you can do this for 30 seconds to up to a minute. And then after doing that, you can move that upwards directions to your forehead area as well. And just keep doing the massage. Okay. You can do this around here as well. Doing this right here really helps to relieve any kind of headaches that you have and move that down. Okay. All right. So see the redness has already gone down a lot and just keep doing this in upwards directions and then down again. And then this is kind of like relieving your muscle tensions that you activated. So do that upwards and down, upwards and down upwards and down all right doesn't that feel so so good all right so you can repeat that one more time from your neck area you can also massage the back of your neck this is the place where i'm extremely sore as well so kind of move that around your neck area and then move that back up move that back up like this up to your forehead area and do this, move that back down, move that back down. How does that feel? So good, right? So after that, we're gonna go in with some acupressure point massages. So we're gonna start with five acupressure point massages. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and five right above your brow bone, okay? So um, in my TikTok video, I actually drew this out, but we're gonna start with one right here. And that's when you use your fingers to Swipe it upwards and do this five to 10 times, however much you feel like doing, okay? And then we move it upwards right next to your mouth line. Move it upwards like this. And this is a great exercise to help depuff and also lift your face, jawline, just your overall face structure. So I found this to be really helpful after long nights of you know watching Korean dramas or eating ramen my face is puffy this helps to make such a big difference then not right next to your nose area and this is also good for people who are suffering with allergies so kind of like start with this and this helps with allergies a ton after doing that you can move upwards like this like that for five to ten times mm. all right now we're going to start below your eye area. This is great to help relieve any kind of eye tension as well as dark circles. So not too much pressure, but just slide it upwards. It's also good if you have eye cream underneath as well. Start from here. Another good point is, especially with the eye area, I kind of start right here and then I give it like um, some massage points and circular motions because I have a ton of pressure here from looking at computer screens all day. So after massaging that, then outwards, and you can also do a massage at the very end. That goes for every exercise right here. Massage it outwards, massage it to wrap it up. Massage, massage, massage it to wrap it up, okay? Last point is above our brow bone. Same thing, ton of pressure from, you know, kind of looking at your screen like this. So massage it outwards, massage it. Massage in circular motions, outwards, and then wrap it up. All right, so keep doing this five to 10 times. We're feeling really good now. So the next part we're gonna do is just wrapping up the overall exercise. We're gonna use our fingers right here and start massaging in upwards directions like this. And this helps to bring everything in full circle from the massage that we did, but also help your you know, forehead wrinkles as well. So do this five to 10 times. After that, we're just gonna hold on to our brow bone like this, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, pinch, 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 okay? And then once again, you can just do the same thing and wrap it up, downward motions. This is just like an end to, consider this like your stretch moment or you're just wrapping everything up, garbage out like this, all right? Okay, the very last thing we're gonna be doing is rub your hands like this because your hands can emanate a lot of good heat to bring back to your face like this. And it helps to relax and bring everything into full circle. Feels so nice. Okay, let's so just rub that up. 
and put it over your face. Just do this two to three times and then you're done. Well, thank you so much for tuning into my facial massage workout today. And I'm sure I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. So if you have any requests for what kind of, you know, targets that you want to be doing, then just comment below. So I'll bring that to you guys in my next video. And if you aren't already, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glow with Ava because I do short forms of these kinds of videos. If you don't have time to tune in to do a full exercise like this and subscribe to my channel for more skincare tips like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love Love you.